G'day Cancer, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down and Dark. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you. Where's that now? Let's go. Give me three cards to start with. So who's thinking about loving Cancer right now? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I like it when they come out quickly. All right. Clarify card one, please. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Okay. Clarify card two, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one interested in cancer right now. Clarify card three, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled with your energy, or the energy coming in with the question. And I'll list below in the description box in the order that I'm using them, in case you're interested in what these decks are. Three more for the love energy coming towards cancer, please. Okay, we got them. I like to get all the cards out first, so just bear with me. We won't be long. <laughs> Clarify card one in row two, please. So I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend, wherever you are and whenever you are watching this. Clarify card two in row two, please. And don't forget to spoil yourself with something nice because you deserve it. Cancer, yes you do. Don't you ever think anything different. <laughs> Clarify card three and row two please and then we can get started. Alright. Okay, let's begin. What have we got? Yes, we saw this reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay. Oh, excuse me. That was absolute piggotry. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that was disgusting. I'm so sorry. Okay. All six of coins and the strength card. Okay. So someone's feeling brave. Wanting to balance things out. Yeah. I'm hearing giving to make amends for what they took from you, maybe. Yeah, try to make up for th make up for what happened. They're feeling brave. Feeling they have the strength and courage to come in and make amends. Yeah, balance the scales here. <clears throat> Wanting to balance the scales, make amends, feeling brave. All right. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So they think you could be the one, Cancer. Yep, the one that they marry, the one that they... Have love and commitment and stability with the, the one that makes them happy. You're the one that makes them happy, Cancer. Happy and carefree and cared for, I'm hearing as well. So they definitely see you as their their happiness and the one they the one they want love and commitment with. And stability. They see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy, male or female. They want this with you. You're their happiness. You're the one. Oh, look, we've got a colour scheme going here. Green, pink, green, pink. Interesting. And look at that, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So they've finally decided and realised that you are their soulmate. You are the one. You are their soulmate. 
With the two of go oh no, they're still undecided about whether you're their soulmate. I'm hearing they can't they don't don't know why they juggled you. They know you're their soulmate. Why yeah. Yeah. Okay, they don't know why. They don't know why they juggled you. You are their soulmate. And more green. Wow. <coughs> a bit of a colour scheme there. Alright. <coughs> Sorry. Coffin. Okay, we have Panda. Create a sacred space for yourself in your home and or work pla place of work. So trying to find that space. <coughs> Ooh, creating space for you. <coughs> sorry. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry about this coffin. Knight of Swords, cutting things out that don't serve them. Eight of Swords. Cutting out that trapped feeling. Feeling of being trapped. Being stuck, something they were stuck in something. They were stuck in. It's all in their mind though that they were stuck in something. They're taking action to cut that out, and make space for you. Interesting. Yeah, um, that's what I keep hearing. Is they're making space for you. Cutting out this. Yeah, taking action, truthful action here, knowing that this trapped feeling and stuck feeling was all in their mind, and they're cutting that out, because they want to make room for you. Okay. Ooh, the walrus. I am the walrus. Cuckoo, 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 choo. <laughs> Couldn't even say it properly. <laughs> okay, remain... Remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Ooh. So, paying attention to the signs. We've got, ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Cool. The Lord of the Shadows, which is the Death card, the transformation with the butterfly. The Two of Swords, mm, okay, that's the indecision. The Nine of Pentacles, interesting. The Strength card again, which in this deck is the Crone. Knight of Wands. And the Seven of Cups, okay. <clears throat> so signs and omens letting them dictate their choices see I think the signs have been telling them they need to like slow and st actions of stability when it comes to you if they want this to transform into anything but they've been stuck in this indecision here which is in their mind Oh, they haven't made the right choices. Haven't made truthful choices. When it comes to their own stability. They've been listening to their ego too much, going on wild, passionate adventures, and constantly seeking out other options because of the confusion they have. Because the signs are telling them stable action was the only way to transform this, but they don't want they don't want to look at that. They like their freedom and to listen to the ego and play around with multiple options. <clears throat> but the signs are telling them that's not the way to. You're not gonna. 
Nothing's going to happen with cancer if you keep doing that, mate. Okay, emu. This is a good time to go on a new adventure. All right. Is that in the... Yeah, okay. Three of Wands, look at that, waiting for the ship to come in. Well, it's docked. It's loading up the cargo. Going on this new adventure. And the Horned God, which is the Emperor, finally taking control. They think this is a good time to come towards you with a new offer. They haven't been paying attention to the signs. This is the problem here. Are they going to pay attention now? <sighs> yeah, going on this ad new adventure. They've been waiting to do this. <coughs> To own who they are, to stand up and be <clears throat> a brave adult about this. This is the Emperor energy. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, waiting no more. Finally stepping into taking control of their own life and going on this new adventure. <clears throat> Are they finally going to come in and make things right? <laughs> See, this has me worried because I don't... I think they've been listening to Ego and they realise that, you know, the signs have been telling them that the stability is the way to go if you want this with cancer. They're making space here, but they haven't been looking at what reading the signs. They're always thinking about you, Cancer. Always thinking about you. All right. Oh, this love energy. I'd like to say to Cancer, please. Okay. We have. I was raised not to show emotion. They're trying not to show that they're emotional about this. Is what I'm hearing. And I think they have a lot of emotion for you, but I think that it's exactly what it says. They were raised not to not to be emotional, not to show emotion, to hide your emotions like it's a weakness. No. Own your emotion. Hmm. I think they're trying not, and I'm keep hearing they're trying not to um, get emotional about this. <sighs> they want me to go back to this pile. Okay, let me have another look. Remain vigilant. About the current situation, right? So they're still going to move forward with stable action here, hoping this can transform into something better. But there's an indecisiveness, so they're not making a decision about whether this is going to transform or not. They're stable and independent here, but the ego is the problem. And I think, you know, taming this beast, not listening to ego, but being strong. See, this Knight of Wands is very slow. It's not running. So they're all, they're brave when it comes to coming in with passionate action here, but emotions, 
they're not sure how to show them. And that can be a problem. There's too many options here that... Yeah, I think they're just going to let the, the universe decide here when it comes to the, how to come across a, with a, how to show emotion here. Yeah, because their ego is just coming with passion, but they know that causes confusion. I don't think they're really sure about how to show their emotion here. And that's a bit of a problem for water signs to accept because they are based in emotion. So, hmm. But they do want to balance the scales between you two. They're feeling brave. They feel there is a balance between you two and that you are their soulmate because they feel more balanced with you. <clears throat> like, like they've got the pentacles in hand. Like they're holding them. They're not up in the air. They feel more like they've got control of their own stability when they're with you. Okay, alright. Well, so they're thinking about that, Cancer, thinking about coming back, thinking you're the one, you're their soulmate, you keep them balanced, they want to balance things out with you, they know that they struggle, showing emotion here, but I think they're ready, they've been waiting to be strong and in control, enough to come towards you mm, very interesting very interesting all right well that's your reading don't forget to like share subscribe all that good stuff leave a nice comment below that would be awesome and thank you all so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you all right all the best take care good luck and i'll catch you later